I don't know what to think, you know? He just... I love the guy, and then I hate him for certain movies he does. In this case, it's a good movie. Nah, I'm just... I'm just gonna skip that, you know? I'll, I'll go deeper into what I'm gonna say about this movie. Deeper into this video. Anyway, today I'm gonna... Uh, hi, this is Joey Vermin, and today I'm gonna be reviewing a film by Uwe Boll known as Seed. So, intro! This movie is directed by Uwe Boll, who, as everyone should know, one of the, the worst directors of our time. Yeah, I thought I'd just get that out of the way first. I'm going to keep going deeper into that, but you know the drill. I'm going to talk about the beginning. Okay, so the beginning of this movie um, <clears throat> revolves around... Uh, well, let me just talk about what happens at the beginning. The movie already starts out really fucking crazy. Um, apparently, Uwe Boll, at the beginning of this movie, bought footage from PETA. And uh, this movie instantly starts out with our, ma one of our main antagonist, uh, Max Seed, watching a video of animals being treated cruelly, like dogs being stomped on and whatnot, and, you know, it's kind of messed up, because it's real, too, but that's because Uwe Boll bought the footage from PETA, and, you know, just put it in his, uh, movie, um, yeah, um, uh, so basically the beginning of this movie is, you know, Seed's just in his house, he's just watching all this crazy shit, then all of a sudden, uh, a police officer, I can't remember his name, I I'm sorry, I watched this a while ago, so, but, a police officer and his crew must go to Seed's house to arrest him. Doesn't go as standard procedure as they thought. Okay, alright, I'm sorry, I did my homework. Uh, the, de the detective who leads a police officer to arrest him is named Matt Bishop. Now, Bishop has this kind of... Whenever I saw his character, he kind of had this real... real angry mentality to... Um, you know, taking Seed down. Because, um, what Seed does to his victims, I'm surprised. I mean, in this movie, Seed does brutally murder guys. Um, uh, I remember three, there's a scene in this movie where three police officers go in and they try to rape him. They try to rape Seed. But you know what? Seed didn't give a shit. Uh, let's see. The first one, he, he threw into a toilet and just messed him up. Um, the other, he, no, wait, no, yeah, he threw him into the toilet, but the guy was like, oh, God, and then he stomped in his arm, and, oh, and then, <laughs> I'm sorry, this sounds like a little kid reviewing this movie, um, uh, the, the other guy gets, he takes the pin off, the little pin badge, and he stabs the guy in the eye with it, and the other guy's just like, Leon at the bar is like, help, help, and the bars are like this huge, right, and then C just kicks him, and, and then, like, his head goes through the bars and his head's all messed up and stuff. Yeah, Seed will do mur brutal murders like that throughout this movie. But, uh... Let me talk about why he's getting under police. The police hunt him because Seed murders people, of, of course. But... See, what Seed does is he takes people and he locks them in this room with no food, no water, and leaves them in there until, and, and he records the entire thing with this camera that he built in there, and basically, he just films them until they eventually succumb to starvation, in which they, well, he, he, he keeps filming them until it shows footage of, like, the bone, or, you know, their skin being melted down to their muscle to their bone, you know, to nothingness, almost nothingness, because the maggots start eating the bodies. Um, very controversial part on this movie, he, 
Yeah, well, you well. Let me just explain the evolution of his murders. One, he starts out with a bug. He has a little bug in there. He just wants to film it and he dies. He just leaves it in there. Second, he takes a family dog, a household dog, and he just waits for that. Now, the controversial part, in my opinion, about this movie, he takes a baby. In, yeah, the baby dies. Yeah, pretty controversial, right? And eventually a woman. And I guess he keeps doing this and doing this until finally the cops are like, Oh, no, forget that shit. We're going to hunt him down. We're going to arrest this fool. Okay, now what I said at the beginning of this video, this is a personal thing with Uva Bolt and his movies with me. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with Uva Bolt and his movies. See, I watched Far Cry, and I was like, Ugh, what am I watching? This is terrible. House of the Dead? Come on. Blood Rain? But then he made this movie. He made a movie called Rampage, well, I, which is awesome, and I will review it. Uh, Rampage, is the idea of it was a little cool in a psychotic way, but um, it was a little boring, but, you know, it was still awesome. Plus, he made... Uh, many people may say he, that he, you know, they didn't like this movie, but Postal... Postal was a funny movie in my opinion, but, you know, I, I can kind of see why people didn't like it. And, yeah, I mean, it's, and, guys, if you're ever on you, uh, Netflix, definitely check this movie out. I was pointing that way, I don't know why. Uh, Seed, look for Seed if it's not on there, I'm sorry. Look it up on the internet or something like that. But, you're on Netflix, look up Uva Ball's film, Assault on Wall Street. That shit is sad. This is a sad movie. You know, it's whenever I talk about his movies like this, this is what I mean by the love-hate relationship. You know, he makes movies that I really hate, like, oh, I regret watching. And then, like, I watch other movies where he's like, I'm like, wow, this is fantastic. I love this movie. He didn't disappoint with this one, you know, in my opinion. You know, I, I think Uwe Boll is a great director in a certain way. He just needs the right... He needs the right production... And he needs the right shit to base it all off of, you know? This is his own movie. I don't know if this is based off a of video game or something, because he's usually known for his video game movies. But, uh, yeah. You know, love-hate relationship with his movies. This movie, love. This is part of the love relationship I have with Uva Bowl and his movies. You know, I saw Blood Rain, I want to slap him in the face. I saw this, I want to give him a bis uh, the biggest kiss on the, the forehead. So, yeah. So, anyway, all in all, Seed, definitely worth worth a watch. Um, although there is one scene that I want to kind of warn you guys about. Uh, a woman's tied up to a chair, and then he, you know, beats the crap out of her, blood spraying everywhere. But I will warn you guys that scene... I was a little disappointed with that scene because it's CG. It's all CG, and, you know, that made me a little disappointed. I, I kind of wanted it to be a little more practical. I, with horror, I'm the practical guy, meaning, well, yeah, I'll watch, you know, I'll watch Walking Dead, you know, even though almost every kill in that show and most horror movies nowadays is just CG, you know, fake blade that doesn't even exist right there going through a person's head in a really awesome way. You know, I call me old-fashioned, but I like practical effects, but that's just me. Anyway, Seed, definitely a watch. Um, yeah, it's quite a, it's kind of a creepy film, actually, in a way. If you look at it a certain way, it's a very creepy film. Yeah, so. I forgot to explain to you why Seed kills all these people. I'm sorry. I'm going to explain to you why he kills, and then uh, just be my final verdict. So, here we go. Apparently, it's said back in the day that if you survive a certain vault of, uh, of electrocution in the electric chair, you get to go free. You get to live. Well, maybe not free, but, you know, live. I mean, obviously, they're not going to let a serial killer loose, but for, uh, obviously live. So, and Seed survives it. And because he survives it, he gets to live. However, they bury him alive. And Seed does not like that one bit. 
Yeah, there's a part in this movie where a seed is hiding under a dude's bed, and the guy's like, who? And then he, like, grabs his head, and he just starts biting his nose off. That part's kind of wicked. Yeah. Yee. No verdict. Yes, I, I say watch this movie. Yes, it will seem a little cheesy at first, but give it a try, man. It's worth the watch. I believe it is, anyway. Um, and Uva Bowl, in my opinion, did not disappoint with this movie. So, Joy Vermin recommends. Might be on Netflix, but who knows. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this review. Oh, oh, by the way, um, I got, I got in contact with none other but Lucifer Valentine, and I showed him my review for Slaughtered Vomit Dolls. He wants me to make a review for the rest of his movies, Regurgitated Sacrifice and Slow Torture Puke Chamber. So guys, next reviews, definitely be looking out for those, alright? And I'm definitely going to show these to Mr. Valentine himself as well. Anyway, this is Joey Vermin, uh, Joey Vermin, sorry, saying goodbye and I love you. See you guys. <laughs>